1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Salman Tahir. First, the headlines. Justice Yahya Afridi of Supreme Court took oath as 30th Chief Justice of Pakistan today. Pakistan and New Zealand have agreed to jointly explore avenues of deepening ties in all areas of mutual benefit. At the United Nations, Pakistan has called for enhanced role of International Court of Justice to address global security threats. Pakistan won three test series by two for one, beating England in third match by nine wickets at Travelpindi today. And now the news in detail. Justice Yahya Afridi took oath as 30th Chief Justice of Pakistan today. President Asif Ali Zardari administered oath to him at ceremony held at Evane Sadr in Islamabad. The President and Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif, who were also present on the occasion, felicitated Justice Yahya Afridi on his elevation as Chief Justice of Pakistan. Pakistan and New Zealand have agreed to jointly explore avenues of deepening ties in all areas of mutual benefit. The decision to this effect was taken in a meeting between Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Mohammad Isaac Dar and Foreign Minister of New Zealand Winston Peters on the sidelines of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Samoa. The Deputy Prime Minister underscored the great potential in further deepening the ties between the two countries. Ishaq Dar and Foreign Minister of New Zealand also emphasized the need of enhancing bilateral trade relations and to broaden cooperation in trade and investment, ed education and to people-to-people -people contacts. Minister for Finance Mohammad Aurangzeb held separate meetings with heads of various banks and Secretary General of the Digital Corporation Organization in Washington. In his meeting with President of the Export Import Bank of the United States, Ms. Rita Jo Lewis, Finance Minister welcomed the Exim Bank's interest in Pakistan's energy, minerals, and IT sectors and assured the bank's evaluation of entry into Pakistan's market. During his meeting with President of the Bank's Masatsugu uh, Asakawa, Mohammad Aurangzeb appreciated Bank's partnership with Pakistan to support its development agenda and welcomed the launch of the new ADB office in Islamabad. Talking to Group CEO of Dubai Islamic Bank, Dr. Adnan Chilwan, the minister informed the Pakistan's credit rating has recently been upgraded by Fitch and Moody's. During the meeting, various lending options offered by Dubai Islamic Bank to the government of Pakistan were discussed. Mohammad Aurangzeb also met with Secretary General of the Digital Cooperation Organization, Ms. Dima al Yahya, in Washington. The minister highlighted the enormous potential that exists in the information and computer technology sector in Pakistan. At the United Nations, Pakistan has called for enhanced role of International Court of Justice to address global security threats and uphold justice in Palestine and Jammu and Kashmir. The call was made by Pakistan's permanent representative to the United Nations, Munir Akram, while delivering a statement at the UN General Assembly during a discussion titled, Report of the International Court of Justice. Munir Akram said, The role of the International Court of Justice has become even more indispensable today than ever before. He said the people of Palestine and occupied Jammu and Kashmir continue to be subjected to foreign and colonial occupation and deny their right to self-determination. Munir Akram urged the UN General Assembly and Security Council to expand the role of the International Court of Justice in defending international law and maintaining world order. Kashmir is on both sides of the line of control and world over will observe Black Day tomorrow to send a powerful message to the international community that they vehemently reject India's illegal occupation of their homeland. According to Kashmir Media Service, it was on October 27, 1947, that Indian troops invaded Jammu and Kashmir in blatant violation of the partition plan and occupied region against the will of the Kashmiri people. The day will be marked by a complete shutdown in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Protest marches, rallies and seminars will be held in Azad Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistan and across the globe to condemn the Indian Army's invasion on October 27, 1947. Twelve more Palestinians were martyred in Israeli strikes on people waiting to receive desperately needed humanitarian aid in besieged north of Gaza today. 
The martyrdom toll of the Palestinians in Israeli aggression on Gaza since October 7 last year has now risen to over 42,900. UN Human Rights Chief says Israel's northern Gaza assault could amount to atrocity crimes extending to crimes against humanity. Pakistan won the three-test series by two for one, beating England by nine wickets in the third match at Rawalpindi today. The score, England 267 and 112, Pakistan 344 and 37 for one. South Shakil was declared player of the match, while Sajid Khan as player of the series for their outstanding performance. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.